I'm Frances Neal, Mrs. William Neal, 58 years marriage, and we have three children, six grandchildren, and 12 great-grandchildren. Uh, William Neal. Go ahead and tell me your story. What do you want to tell me today? Tell me where you served first, Mr. Neal. Yeah. Uh, 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 Seven in the Fort Bay, North Carolina. Where in Europe? Uh, in, in, in Europe, I served in uh, Africa, Sicily, France, Belgium, and Germany. And you were with the Army, I'm correct? Yes, Army, National Army. Uh -huh. And as well. And tell me a little bit about your service. Well, I went to serve in 1940, August 1940. Since when Fort Thomas, Kentucky, went to, and then I went to Fort Bragg, North Carolina. We served uh, over two years before we uh, went to Africa. And in Africa, in Africa, in Sicily. And we went to England, waiting on the train, waiting for the division of of uh, Normandy. And then there was a jeep on the, on the beach. And you go off a rain boat in the, in the water and onto the beach. And up the beach and you know, on the road where we got the beach flies all the Big, big line by a circus man, dead on the long highway. Then to, from there I went to the uh, Hedgerow country. Which was seen in the Hedgerow country for a long time. Bogged down for about I don't know how long. And, uh, The, the Air Force jumped out of bombs and everything, and just ahead of us. And they got broke loose and moved on, on to the and then into Belgium, which I uh, had uh, a lot of stuff off of the uh, up and waist, waist deep. And there, you know, just like a head for. At the Battle of all, we head to uh, the Rhine River, which uh, we crossed the railroad Rhine River, the whole left the railroad bridge up, and then head down the bottom, and we crossed the railroad drive. And we went down the north, the other side of the Rhine River, the left side. And I never went to uh, went to Black Forest, which uh, we, uh, we had the we we went off the highway and had the uh, parks over the side of the road, and we had a man one of the servants, one of the soldiers out talking, and they had a tree bus, and they had a Chain in my back pocket, my right back pocket. You check and cut the chain in there. But it didn't, it didn't go up his skin. It made a big bump, big whelp. From there, I guess we went in uh, to, to Germany. I mean, to Germany, to about four miles from uh, Berlin. We, we stopped waiting on, and I guess waiting on resting to come from the other side, come into Berlin, and that's, that, that's why I got poisoned. On the last day of war, you know, the, the poison somebody out of Berlin, the poison. How did you get poisoned? Uh, you gotta give me a 
Yeah. He said a Russian vodka. Celebrating the end of the war. We didn't drink, celebrating the war. Just that one, one guy, the, uh, some of the canteen, he, they said a Russian vodka, but uh, he, he had blood on for it. We were just doing no, I didn't know. And I, I wasn't much of a drinker anyway, it was just, just a little bit of a drunk. <laughs> but uh, I think it took a big swallow, and I almost took my breath. I guess a little bit went down with seven. And I started crawling out on the ground later. Just throwing it. And uh, they took me back to the field hospital. And they pumped my stomach, put me on a breathing thing. They said, I'd go in and out, just, just almost dying there, but a lot of, a lot of guys dying on it, and they didn't help us, they drank stuff. But it was, uh, it, it was, all I heard about it is that uh, it was the Russian. The German uh, bought, bought a pump food. No, I don't believe it, because it is, you just take a bit and you put it in your mouth. You said you wanted to come Yes, uh, he was poisoned the day World War II was over, and um, his optic nerve was destroyed, and, and he also had a stroke at about the same time worrying about what he would do because he was blind. And uh, he may never get his sight back. And he's 84 now. But he was discharged in 1945 and blinded at the age of 40, uh, 23, excuse me, age of 23. Some of the girls asked me in my family one time, why didn't I get Dad a seeing eye dog? And I said, well, I'm a seeing eye dog. So I'll be his seeing eye dog. Uh, we've been happily married 58 years. Hmm.